What's going on everybody? This is Justin. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my first impressions of the Riptide R1 electric skateboard. So let's get right to it. Here's the power button and the battery level indicator. Here's the remote control. It has several buttons on it, but I'm looking for the power button right now, which is actually located on the bottom. It's kind of difficult to see in this video, but it's also difficult to see in person because it's really small. And I gotta be honest with you, the remote feels very fragile and plasticky, so be careful with it because you can probably break it really easy. Pushing this lever forward will activate the throttle and spin the back wheels. The wheels are 83 millimeters, which is actually really big when you see them in person. The remote comes with a lanyard so you don't accidentally drop it when you're riding. The board has three different throttle modes, beginner, eco, and expert mode. Each mode has a different top speed. If you push this button on the side of the remote and then push the throttle, it'll go into reverse. The first time I rode this, I was really conservative. I kept it in eco mode and took it pretty easy. I gotta warn you, the trucks are pretty loose when you first take it out of the box, so you'll feel a little bit of a speed wobble effect if you're not an experienced rider. This thing also has pretty good brakes, so if you pull the throttle backwards, it'll slow you down and gradually stop. However, if you smash on the brakes while going full speed and you don't shift your body weight correctly, you can definitely go flying off the board. On day two, I was feeling much more comfortable riding this thing, so I went ahead and tightened the trucks just enough to make it feel more solid under my feet. Riptide provides a skateboard tool that you can use to adjust the ride to your liking and do your own maintenance later on. I recommend keeping this tool with you until you get the board broken in and adjusted to your preference. After I was comfortable riding in eco mode, I decided to put this thing in expert mode and get a feel for the top speed of 18 miles per hour. Now, expert mode doesn't look very fast on camera here, but when you're riding the board, it definitely feels like you're going really fast. Fast enough to bust your head. So be smart and wear a helmet. Don't be like me. The current price for a Riptide R1 is $599 on the website, but I bought a refurbished model that was about half the cost. They also offer financing if you prefer making payments. Overall, I give this board a rating of 4.5 nuggets. I'm definitely going to be riding this thing every day whenever I need to get around my work campus or when I want to just go to my favorite local coffee shop. Well done, Riptide. Well done.